Hello and welcome to Money Life TV. The Indian market fell by over 700 points or more than 4% today. What really happened? Well, to start with, remember that countries are now very closely interconnected. You heard the term decoupling before. Don't take it too seriously. Today's fall is another example of how interconnected the world has become. So what really happened in this interconnected world today? It is simply that investors around the world were not happy with what they heard from Ben Bernanke, governor of the US Federal Reserve last night. After all, it's the easy money policy of the Fed that has kept up the prices of many assets around the world from time to time over the last few years. Bernanke announced plans to sell short-term securities on its balance sheet and buy longer-term securities. In market parlance, he will be doing the twist. Well, devoid of jargon, Bernanke simply promised to put $400 billion into the system by buying certain bonds. The Fed hopes this would keep interest rates low and kickstart the US economy. Somehow, investors and speculators have been expecting a much more aggressive intervention by the Fed given the recent poor economic data. Fed, after all, has done exactly so in the past, even though this has led to no change in the US economic condition. Earlier, liquidity boosts had only encouraged speculation. This time, however, having concluded that they won't get more cheap money flowing through the US banking system, investors decided to reduce their risk. This is why all risky assets have got sold off today. Apart from the Indian market, Jakarta, one of the top performing markets in the world this year, fell by as much as 8.9%. Hong Kong fell by 5%, while all European markets were down by 3 to 4%. And it was not just equities. Copper was down almost 4%, while crude, silver, lead and other commodities were also sharply down. What lies ahead? More selling, as speculators continue to move away from risky assets for a while. We have entered another period of what is called risk of trade. And where does that leave the Indian market? It will drift lower. If there is further economic slowdown, for sure we will go down to another 10% or so. And then there are fears that inflation is not coming down and rate hikes by the Reserve Bank of India have not really ended. How should you be handling this kind of a decline? Well, for starters, don't panic. Stay with your investment plan of systematically investing in the right mutual funds or blue chip stocks gradually. The more adventurous among you should follow Street Beat section of Money Life magazine, where we select good stocks with a lot of care. We will be back soon with the market update when we have something significant to report. Until then, stay updated with Money Life newsletter that hits your mailbox every day. Thank you for watching. Thank you.